uh, here is uh, another example uh, the system uh, which we want to control is uh, magnetic suspension system you are familiar with the working of this system uh, here is a ball and you want to stabilize this ball at its equilibrium position by controlling the uh, this uh, the voltage applied to this uh, uh, this coil by controlling the voltage applied to this coil the force applied by this uh, electromagnet on the uh, this uh, ball uh, can be controlled and uh, hence uh, so uh, this uh, mathematical model of this uh, system is given over here again we are not learning the mathematical modeling so i have just written the mathematical model of this system and uh, you can study this mathematical model we want to uh, design a controller stabilizing controller for this system for that purpose we want to obtain an exact linearization full state linearization of this uh, nonlinear system uh, here uh, some further uh, uh, elaboration of this system x1 is the vertical position of this ball uh, that is denoted by x1 x2 is the vertical velocity of the ball and x3 is the current in the coil these are taken as state variables and u is the voltage of the source driving the coil uh, that is uh, the voltage driving the coil is our control input uh, here here uh, this uh, nonlinear function l of uh, x1 that is uh, given over here uh, basically this is inductance of electromagnet and inductance of this electromagnet depends upon the position of the ball and uh, some parameters uh, are also given to us m uh, is the mass of this ball which is uh, 0 0.1 and likewise other parameters are also given to us uh, by substituting these parameters and uh, this expression into these equations uh, we have uh, this state space representation of the same system uh, we have only substituted the numerical values of all those uh, parameters so to compute the relative degree we take the uh, first derivative first derivative uh, of output with respect to time that is x1 dot which is equal to x2 by this equation so the control input u is not appearing over here we take the second derivative y double dot is equal to x2 dot which is given by uh, this uh, expression again the control input is not there we take the third derivative and uh, the third derivative of this thing uh, uh, with respect to time so you have uh, some terms over here and uh, then uh, you again compute uh, the derivative of this thing with respect to time how to compute it first you take the derivative of this expression with respect to x1 and then the derivative of x1 with respect to time and uh, then you take the derivative of this expression with respect to x3 and then derivative of x3 with respect to time so that term is written over here rest of the terms i have not written because uh, this term uh, will be uh, telling you about the relative degree uh, because uh, in the expression for x1 dot there is no control input uh, in the expression for x2 dot there is no control input and in the expression for x3 dot uh, we have the control input and uh, therefore relative degree is equal to three because in the expression for x3 dot there is u uh, again this relative degree is not in the entire state space and it is in the uh, in some domain so if a relative degree is equal to 3 uh, that is equal to uh, n the dimension of the system therefore this is the state transformation which will obtain uh, full state linearization of this nonlinear system h of x is uh, here uh, we know the procedure to compute uh, this lead derivative and the second lead derivative uh, so l f h of x is given by this expression uh, the derivative of h with respect to x1 is equal to 1 with respect to x2 and with respect to x3 it is 0 uh, and then multiplied by f of x 
I have only written the first entry over here because whatever is over here that multiplied with 0 will be equal to 0. So L F H of X is equal to X2. We need to compute the secondly derivative again by similar relations uh, that finally comes out to be equal to this expression. Hence uh, our state transformation uh, that is given over here uh, h of x x1 uh, lead derivative of h of x along f of x is x2 we have computed it and we have also computed this uh, thing. So this state transformation uh, will transform this nonlinear system into uh, the normal form and uh, z1 dot uh, is equal to x1 dot z1 is equal to x1 so z1 dot is equal to x2 x1 dot which is equal to uh, x2 by uh, system equations state equations x1 dot was equal to x2 and x2 is by definition equal to z2 from this x2 is equal to z2 and uh, similarly z2 dot is equal to x2 dot and x2 dot from system equations is given over here and this has been defined to be equal to z3 in new state variables and z3 dot is equal to uh, the derivative of this thing with respect to time so derivative of this expression with respect to time is equal to 0 the derivative of this with respect to time uh, is equal to derivative of this with respect to x2 and then uh, x2 uh, with respect to time that is written over here and uh, for this expression to compute the derivative uh, we have uh, taken its derivative with respect to x1 and then the derivative of x1 with respect to time and then we have taken its derivative uh, with respect to x3 and then derivative of x3 uh, with respect to time this is how you uh, take the derivative uh, other than some uh, mathematics there is no new concept uh, after substitution of x1 dot and x3 dot we have this uh, longer expression and uh, this expression uh, we can simply uh, arrange the terms to finally get this uh, uh, expression uh, there is uh, one more concept over here that uh, I shall uh, explain later. Uh, so this, uh, these nonlinear terms can be easily cancelled uh, by taking the control law. You see that the system is now in uh, the normal form and uh, uh, it can be uh, fur after further simplification you have this expression and therefore uh, you have this uh, normal form representation of the nonlinear system and the control input can be obviously taken to cancel out these nonlinearities. Uh, this term, uh, this term, these will be cancelled and uh, this is basically this term is inverse of this thing, gamma inverse as we know earlier. With uh, this uh, uh, control input, the system is given by this linear state space representation and once you have a linear representation you can apply linear control theory to design the uh, controller for the system the same system represented in uh, this form and uh, state feedback controller and uh, you can use the MATLAB commands uh, and uh, the poles uh, are placed over here that result uh, into this value of k and uh, hence the overall control law is given over here we have only substituted v uh, v that is equal to this thing over here to get this control law and uh, this control law is uh, some uh, variables are the original state variables and uh, some are the new state variables however for the implementation uh, you will need the original state variables and uh, how you can obtain the original state variables you have simply to replace z1 uh, with the equivalent expression and uh, this is basically your homework you have to replace these uh, state variables z1 z2 and z3 uh, with the, the actual state variables x1 x2 and x3 to obtain the control law 
and uh, as the assignment you have to simulate uh, this uh, nonlinear system with this control law and you have to verify that uh, this uh, position of the ball is actually stabilized uh, before concluding there is uh, one more concept uh, on the previous slide which uh, i need to uh, elaborate further here if you compare this uh, equation of z3 uh, i have uh, just replaced this expression with z3 because this was equal to z3 uh, i have not uh, cancelled this term if you compare it with the uh, standard normal form uh, so over there you had cancelled everything uh, with the uh, by selection of control input but over here i have not cancelled this term why because it is this is already linear so i need not to cancel it if you want to cancel this term as well uh, so you can do that but your control law will become a little bit more uh, complex and uh, you can uh, even uh, if you uh, do not want to cancel it this is not problematic because it is already linear term over here uh, this term over here is linear if you compare it with the original uh, our previous discussion you see that in the last equation you have z3 dot is equal to v only because you have also cancelled this term so this is a brief uh, discussion on uh, feedback linearization when relative degree is equal to n in the next lecture we shall uh, study what is the procedure if relative degree of a system is less than n then what we can do to obtain exact linearization of that particular nonlinear system